Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-animation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about a very interesting and very important topic of JavaScript, which is called module. And we will also see how we can export this module so that we can use in some other files. Okay. So again, I will be talking about two different kind of modules. Okay. So one is user defined modules that we will be creating and another module, which is like inbuilt modules. Okay. That also we'll discuss. So I will show you a few, you know, inbuilt modules so that you will have clear understanding how module works. Okay. So before we start, uh, you know, inbuilt module and user defined module, let's talk about what exactly is module. So technically, if you ask me what is module, okay, so module is nothing but small unit of code. Okay. So inside module, you can have code that can be reused by other different modules as well. Or I will say you can use that code for some other activities as well. Okay. In simple words, I will technically show you how you can do that, but understand the fundamentals. Let's say I have a very big application and if I want to segregate or if I want to, you know, divide that application into sub parts, I will call them as a module. Okay. So module is just a file which contains small piece of code or larger piece of code depends on your requirement. Okay. And that module can be reused by some other modules or by some other programs as well. For example, Let's say I'm creating one library today. Okay. That library will simply, you know, give you some kind of hello message every morning, eight o'clock, or maybe I will create a small module that will simply clean your temporary directory every night, 10 PM. Okay. So why modules are important because as the first part, you can reuse it. Okay. And the maintenance part B will be very easy. For example, I have, you know, divided my application into different modules. So if I have some changes, then instead of you know, changing the complete application, I will only change the module which is affected. Okay. So when it comes to maintenance, modules are very handy. So let me show you how you can create modules. Okay. So first part of this video will be how to create user defined module. And the second part of this video will be inbuilt module with JavaScript have. Okay. I will not be able to show all the inbuilt modules, but yes, some of them I will touch so that you will understand how to use them. And we'll make a dedicated video on that, uh, you know, some inbuilt modules, which is very useful and we use every single day. Okay. So in order to understand module, let's create a separate JavaScript file. And let me just give this file image students.js. Okay. So I will keep this example simple till now. We have not discussed about classes. We have not discussed about constructors. So whatever we have discussed so far, we will be using here in this module. So till now we used uh, functions, right? So I will be using functions here. Okay. And that functions we will be using into some other file. So let me create just one function. Don't worry. Once we move ahead, I will create uh, you know, classes constructor. Then again, we will be using the same concept and I, we will see how to export the complete class. But as of now today, we are just understanding how this, you know, export part works and how we can reuse it into some other file. So I'm going to create a function. And let me give this function as show student name. Okay. Just one function we are writing and I will say student. Okay. Uh, student name is let's say Mukesh. Okay. Just understand the concept again. You can pass parameters. Okay. Uh, you can export the complete classes. That's a different story altogether. We'll discuss that as well. But as of now, just consider that we have a function which says show student name. Uh, let's say student name and I will create one more function and it'll say show college name. Okay. And I'll say college name is let's say N I I S T. Now suppose now I want to reuse this function into some other file. Okay. So maybe somebody have created a library. Now we want to use that library. So how we can do that. So I'm going to export these two functions. Okay. So now you just need to type something called module. Okay. And the, the moon say module, you can say dot and very important part. You need to say exports again. It's not export. It's exports. And now let's say I just want to export 
this function which is show college name that's all i need to do okay so the first example i have two functions you can have n number of functions but when it comes to the last statement i'm just exporting this function which is show college name now if i want to reuse this let's see how we can reuse it so i will not close this file and now let me create another file and this i will say module demo.js file okay this is a plain javascript file now if i have to reuse this or i have to reuse this function how we can do that so first thing you need to do you need to use one you know keyword called require okay and here you just need to give the exact file name that you want to reuse okay so in our case our file name is student.js right so i will use double quotes dot means current working directory and i want to use something called students.js file so require means i want this particular module okay and let me store this into a variable so let me use let or const okay let's use const mostly we'll be using const whenever we you know get some module we'll generally store into const so i will say students this can be anything i'm just using the students now if i have to call this okay what is the function name show college name right this is the one which we have exported so i will say now students dot and you can see we have this function called show college names okay main part we are not calling from it this is just a separate javascript file which has functions the main calling part is happening here we are saying okay i need this module and i want i want to call this function so let's run this and I will give the file name module demo.js and you can see it is able to call this function which is available inside another file now what if I want to call this function okay now notice one part that I'm trying to call this function but we have not exported from here okay in that case obviously it will not work but let's see what exactly the error you will be getting okay so if you see this it says type error show student name is not a function obviously because we have not uh, you know exported so it is trying to find within the same file which is not available so it says show student name is not a function fair enough so if you want to export this as well put a comma and now you can export another function as well now if you go ahead and call this it should work and you can see it says student name is Mukesh why because from this module I have exported two functions and I'm just calling these two functions okay I hope you got some basic idea about this okay we will be exploring this part again when we'll cover classes and constructor but for the time being just try to export some functions that you have created and try to reuse it again if you see this part when you go with Cypress, WebDriver, I or any other library, you will be using a lot. Plus, when we go with page object model, definitely we'll create multiple pages. And that pages we will be using in our test cases, right? So this is going to be very important. So please pay special attention here. Now, guys, this is just one part, okay? Where we have created our custom module and we are using it. But what if I want to use some inbuilt module which JavaScript has provided? okay so let me show you a couple of modules um, so a few modules are assert whenever you have to do some kind of assertion you can use inbuilt module assert which comes in javascript same module is also available in chai library that also we'll see once you move ahead we have another inbuilt module called fs which is basically for file system okay whenever you have to deal with files you will be using file fs module we also have os module in javascript so whenever you have to get some os related details you will be using os module we have zlib okay whenever you have to compress or decompress the file so there are a bunch of other inbuilt modules which javascript provides and you can use it so let me use a couple of them okay i hope this is clear now so let me create another file okay and i will say module demo 2.js Okay, so let me use, uh, you know, some inbuilt modules. Again, I will be using require. Okay, and now I will be using one 
OS module. So just type OS. So basically, again, I will store into a variable. Okay, I will say const OS. Okay. Now the moment you type OS, and now you can see, uh, basically, you can use all the functions from OS module now. Okay. So can you see a couple of functions here? So we have temp directory, we have home directory, platform, host name, architecture, uh, free memory, get priority, and all these functions which is coming from OS module okay that's that's how the module part works so definitely we'll have a dedicated video on you know inbuilt modules I will try to cover OS module as well but let's try to call at least one or two methods so that you will understand I will use again console.log and let me try to get you know platform information so I will say platform okay apart from this okay let me first run this and this time I will say module demo 2.js and you can see it's giving me platform detail which is Windows 32. Okay, so let's try a few more functions. So again, I will say OS dot and uh, let's say this platform already we have tried. Let me try type and let's run this again and you can see it's coming from Windows family. Fair enough. Let's try one more os dot and let's say host name okay okay this is my host name so basically now you got the point right so os is the inbuilt module what we did we just called require and we got this in a variable then we are able to call all the functions from that module okay so let me also show you one more module okay so again i will be using require okay and this time i'm going to use something called assert okay and guys we will be using assert a lot so i will use assert which is coming from javascript and let me again store this into a variable again i will say const and i will give same assert see guys you can give any other name as well okay that's not an issue it is just I'm giving the same name you I can give this as Mukesh as well okay I can give this as anything but we are giving the same name so that I can directly start using it okay so let's use it I will say assert now whenever I have to assert some values I will be using assert okay so let me do one thing let me just write one condition here 50 is less than 60 yes so in that case this assertion will pass and it will not throw any error okay so if I run this I will say node module demo 2.js yes it is giving all the details plus this condition is passed so it is not giving any error but notice one thing the moment I say 50 is greater than 60 which is obviously false in our case and now let's run this can you see it failed now okay and it says okay there's a assertion error the expression evaluate to a falsy value and this is the assert statement fine now you can also add a message here okay this message will basically will only appear whenever your assert will fail as you can see we have assert here a uh, message right and here I can give assertion failed or uh, let's give some value that value mismatched see basically you can give any condition okay any message you can pass so in this case I am just passing this additional message and this message will only come whenever assert will fail and you can see it is also adding this value mismatched but if I again change this to 50 less than 60 it will work as it is okay don't worry about the assert we will have a dedicated video on assert because when it comes to testing it's all about actual versus expected right or expected versus actual whatever you call it so we will be using assert a lot and we'll discuss this in detail in dedicated video but I hope you got the overall point so let me just give you a quick recap what we have done so far so basically we started with uh, just a second yeah so we started with this student.js file where we just added two functions okay and I use module.exports so initially I exported only one function and I was calling here and I was able to call it then I was trying to call another method which was not even exported then I was getting error 
So in the second example, I exported two functions. Later on, we will export the complete class as well. Okay, that we will discuss once we will cover the classes in constructor. For the time being, we are just exporting two functions. So how we were importing, we were saying require. Then we were using dot operator image current working directory and which module you want to import. In our case, it was a student. So we stored into one variable called a student. Then we were able to call student dot show student names and if you want you can just also have a students dot uh, show college name because both are exported now so you can use it now in the second part we discussed that if you don't have user defined module you want to use some inbuilt module in that case we discussed we have so many inbuilt modules in javascript we are using only two as of now os and assert so again we are using require os we stored into one variable called OS. Both are same as of now, but you can change them. Then we tried calling a couple of functions, platform, type, host name, and these all are coming from OS module. Then we, uh, you know, we are using one more module called assert, and we are just using one condition, and we are passing one additional argument. This is optional, but good to have. If assert will fail, this will come. If assert is working fine, it will continue with the next statement. So I hope it is clear now. That's all from this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If yes, then do support this channel, subscribe this channel, share with your friends, colleague and if you face an issue, please let me know in the comment section or via email and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.